Okay. Hey, stream is up. Life is down. Sick as fuck. <coughs> so if you like the sound of coughing, I got you. Uh, this, uh, I don't predict that I'll stream too long today. Do the old <coughs> thing over there. I'll probably also have like a lozenge at some point. So if you hear that, oops. My bad. Also, if you're expecting cool voices, I'll try my best, but it seems unlikely. We'll see what happens. Oh, a pestic sound. So also if you hear that, then oop. Oh hey, what up, <coughs> Jason? Yeah, it's cool. It's it's uh it's it's all part of life, as they say. Ha ha ha. Snap snap. Also, welcome to the old streamer Rooney. Thanks for joining me. <clears throat> okay, gotta be professional. We're gonna we'll start in like a few minutes. Let's get some water real fast. Everyone get all nice and cozy, etc., etc. And uh, yeah. Once again, we're playing Hello Charlotte, voted upon by the community. Um, and by the community, I mean the people on my friends list, which is important to me. So not hating, just staying. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited. I've heard good things. I think. Actually, I really don't talk about horror, about horror people that much, so we'll see. I actually thought this was like a, a baby child's game because it was on Steam, and I just do the like the math. Like, Steam games can't be too scary. And then there's like a trigger warning at the bottom of like gore and stuff like that. So uh, what do I know? <sighs> Excuse me for the water drink. Yeah, I'm gonna blow this nose, and we'll start the game, I guess. Excuse me, I shouldn't run that near the mic. My apologies. So yeah, well, once again. Thank you. I'll also finally changed my background. It's some kind of end roll thing. I'd post it, but I got this delicate stream situation going. I don't want to screw it up. Even though I'm sure I will. So, oops. But yeah. Oh, crap. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, sweet. I'm just going to start the game. People join, people join. If they don't, they don't. Three, two. Let me pop in this lost engine, actually. Professional, I know. Hmm. 3, 2, 1. Okay. Well, I should click on the game. Ooh. My world met its end a long time ago. The humanity as I knew it has ceased to exist and disappeared without a single trace. The gods they believed in have died and churches were built in their graves. The chaos turned into order and finally became quiet. All I can do is dream, for I am so, so tired. Before I abandon the words that form noise in my head, will you be so kind as to join me in the dream scene? Hello Charlotte, episode 1. Junk food, gods, and teddy bears. Interesting beginning. And by the way, <coughs> cough, if you have not known, um, this version of Hello Charlotte is episode 1. It is totally free on Steam. And also uh, some download sites that they use, like Ichijo or something like that. So, if you want to give it a try, go ahead. It's nice to meet you. Please take care of me. This is my room. I hate the music already. Perfect. Uh, minimalist. Quite modern, don't you think? Let's get to the dining room. I'm hungry. Uh, these are all my peaceful ones. Look out for puppeteer symbols. Okay. Only the users with X in their names have access to all doors. Okay. I am so confused and we just started the game. <laughs> Whatever. Uh. Screen store user data and monitor user activity. Absolute rule. Screen must not be turned off. Charlotte is expected to follow the absolute rules implicitly. Okay. <clears throat> We're not responsible for bodily <laughs> injury, including dismemberment, mental disturbances, or other harm to the user's well-being caused by infringing the rules listed above. Sweet, so keep screens on or whatever. 
Omnicubes are multitask devices that allow the transportation, duplication, creation, or disintegration of the organic matter and the storage of data. Please do not put liquid soap inside Omnicubes as it may cause, see, cause unforeseeable consequences to happen. Okay, don't put soap in them. Easy enough. Please choose care of the, uh, Charlotte. Current user who has not yet to complete the educational program. Okay, let's try one more and then I'll just start the game actually. Okay. Uh, butler, how is include selling taxidermy? Okay. <coughs> TV room? Hell. Okay. I'm digging the yard so far. <coughs> let's watch some Sim TV. All 99 channels show commercials 24-7. Next on Panopticon TV, Synth Meal commercial. Don't miss it. Sure. You and only you can stop the world crisis. Help stop overproduction by buying things now. <coughs> Organic junk food at Charlie's IS, the ultimate cure for obesity. Order now by calling 0800 XXX, XXXX. -X -X -X. Yes, I agree 100%, buddy. <laughs> well, now. That's enough TV for today. No way. <clears throat> okay, never mind. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I really do like the. Uh, how this looks so far, I confess. Access denied. Oh, and let me know if there's any issues with sound or anything like that. That'd be cool. <coughs> I don't need to call anyone right now. Okay. It's actually a little loud on my end, but I can deal with that later. That wasn't like yesterday. Soap obtained. Not even our dining room drawers have anything edible. Uh, soap omnicubes. Got it. Last time I tried to cook something, the world was almost destroyed by the food monster. I wish Bennett didn't put his chemicals on the shelves along with sugar and salt. That means nothing to me. Public controlled menu has four options. Stuff, task, rewind, points, exit. Okay, it's just basic stuff. Drug stuff with their way. Stuff is junk we keep. Tasks are daily life quests. Rewind points can save saved data of various events. One second, please. Sorry, still sick. And B should only be used if the puppet dies or the computer must leave the control council. <clears throat> Time to study? Yeah, I know, right, Jason? Um, and this should not be an option for a reasonable puppeteer. The house. Uh, sure. Basement. Dissection room? Yeah, that's, the word. that's English. Tailor room. Test rooms. Ground floor, living rooms. Cool. Dear Charlie, I'll be home late. Call this number to order food from Charlie's. XOXO Mom. This note is eight months old. My parents work on holidays. Okay. New task. This is usually the creep factor these games end at. <laughs> it can only go up from here. Something about black and white, man. Big spooky boys. But here's hoping it's not. Okay, so I know if I put soap in the Omni Cube, that's bad. Band aid, scalp, scalpels, notes, tea bags, everything is such a mess. Some of the cube run a fan. <laughs> you know what? Anything for the fans. Uh, how do I actually do this though? It's not tasty at all. Oh, well. I might have, I might have screwed that up. <laughs> One, thank you. Two, I might already have to use that same thing. Uh, I already the soap is gone. Puppeteer, such type will type living true. Uh, MB can retire time when the puppet dies. Observers, world government members, wears animal skin hats, known as umbrella men. The puppets, also known as humans, live in false realm. Purpose to air, known representatives, me, mom, dad, classmates, not so sure. Aliens, pretend to be human, to cause us ruckus, live in false realms. Cool. Glad I did all that. 
I also can't uh, seem to regain soap, so I might just do that whole reset thing. Not cheating, I swear. I think it's this one. This one? This one? Boop, boop, boop. Nope. Then anyone asks, part of the plan. Sweet. Okay, so I gotta... Let me look at that book too, also, just in case I had to. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, cool. Sandbox always says to do it. It does, uh... Where would we say no to education? Yo, what up, Rob? How'd the moving go? Welcome to Hello, Charlotte. Hey, it's Charlie's Organic Junk Foods. Please place your order. <clears throat> like, I like an echo eco-friendly chicken nuggets, and an instant diabetes soda, please. I shouldn't be so nervous when talking to a machine. Thank you for ordering at Charlie's. Stay healthy with us. Sweet. I have no idea what these heart things mean, by the way. Uh... Also, that, like, for some reason, doorbell ringing is giving me mad anxiety. Don't know why. Good, I moved in. I need to unpack something for the more <laughs> Oh, it's of my life right there. I'm not even fully unpacked myself. Uh, is this the way out? Wasn't locked yesterday. Did I miss the door ring thing that I missed? Forgetting? Question mark? <coughs> um. Sure, sure. <coughs> no, I'll just keep looking, I guess. What can go wrong? Okay, so I did the call. Find a way to the attic. I do like the task system, I do confess. It makes my stupid brain slightly like. Oh, wait, there's a teleport cube thing, isn't there? I'm a baka. Yeah, you're right. I'm in the wrong there. Maybe. We'll see. Nope. Put magic word. The nerd lord, yo, it's all my friends! Bam bam bam! Uh, Mother's Fair Shelf, so those romantic books. Can't read. There's cookbook, da 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 da, ba -ba 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 -ba. kaboom, advanced, blah blah blah. Bench shelves, they just scream danger and geek. Sewing for everyone, dressmaking made easy, a fancy folds, art of napkin folding. Yeah. <laughs> Need to find, find a cute. No one obtained. Probably has the magic word. Magic words, please. Oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> oh, that's what you mean by please. I get you, Jason. I thought you were just like, please do something. I'm like, I got you, whatever it is, baby. I don't know if it's like capital P, whatever. So let's try all caps right now. Please. <laughs> it was a good guess. Real talk. I'm very. What? Um. Do I need that plus after all? What? Well, I'll give it a try. Okay, what the fuck's happening right now? Oh, uh, it's probably cat. Okay, let me read that note again. Give me one sec. Not ill mannered child. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Cats are probably important. One sec. I got this. I can't get screwed up in the one the game literally tells me the answer. Okay, cool. Creepy sound. Yeah, okay, sounds for those. What's the plus me? I don't I don't recall in the well, I hit backspace, so it's probably plus. You're probably right. But don't tell anyone it was me. I refuse to acknowledge I screwed up. That sounds out of character. See, do I get any nope. Oh, answer the door still, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Gotta answer the door first. Makes sense. Let's open that door. 
Sorry, I thought you heard voices in addition to the hissing, and I'm like, what? A strange hissing noise coming from behind the door. Want me to open it? I have no real choice. I'll wait till they leave. Oh, I do have a choice. Sounds are gone. It should be safe. I think I made the right choice. <laughs> I didn't realize that was an option in real talk. I thought I would have to open it regardless. Lucky me found, I better return to the dining room. Feed Charlotte. Okay. These are weird tasks. Chicken nuggets are vegetables. That's why I keep telling the mom. Jeez. What a mockery of real food. Is it all that they can offer these days? You should try wallpapers, dear child. They are especially rich in iron. Don't listen to him. Soap is much better nutrition. Um, guys, do I get a say in this? Aliens don't really have a concept of personal space, do they? By the way, Mr. Aiden, the door to the ground floor corridor one doesn't open. It's closed for minor construction workers. Nothing to worry about. If you come out at night, you find something interesting there. Aiden pinches Bennett. Ow. Oh. Stop giving stop giving the child weird ideas. Don't listen to him, my dear girl. If you want to join in, I'll be watching Soap Nut in the TV room. Soap operas just call for soap milkshakes. Person is more like out of space. Hey! Also, I kinda of find it weird that the narrator still has Charlotte's face. It's probably a reason, but it's weird. Then it leaves. I almost forgot. Come to the dissection room later. I have a favor to ask of you. Aiden and Huxley leave too. Sweet. Weird, but sweet. Basement key. Hmm. Well, what up? Absorbing TV. What happens if I change the channel, I wonder? I can't change the channel. This is weird. Okay. Sweet. Never mind. That was a waste of time. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Do I type it again? Oh, I wasn't clicking or reading. Whatever. Four, of course. You're free to make that statement. That is correct. You may pass. See, guys? I don't even need to read. Game's that easy. Ladder loose to the basement. Um, I forgot where I put the basement key. Probably one of these shelves. It's not one of those shelves. Can I leave? I need to go outside right now. Okay, so. Um. Um, probably that cube or my room or something. Or, it's that. Also fine. You know what? Screw it. Part of the plan. Totally... Uh, what about the five this time? Can you prove that? If not, access denied. Okay. Unlock the door. Sweet. Open me. Um... You know what, sure. But everything collapses in the singularity. So I destroy the world unless this- WHAT?! <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, yes. Fuck this game. Ugh. Stupid waste of time, money, and resources. <laughs> I'm salty. Yeah, thank you. Huh. <coughs> Indeed. It wasn't even like a cool cutscene thing. It was just like, oh, game's over. Don't tell you all this. I want to know this time. Let's see. 
Yep, this seems fishy, although I'm still curious. Whoa. Aang loves order. Even his mannequins are in place. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, Mr. Aiden. Being a busybody as always. Hello, dear girl. There's always a dress I want you to try on, if you don't mind. I love to. Put on the dress the tailor made. This cute. Sorry about that. Whoa, it's totally red. It's called White Spotted Jellyfish Dress. It still needs a few finishing touches. I'll give it to you when it's ready. Oh, that was, that was pretty cute. Aiden absorbed in the process. Let's not hinder him. Alright, so far so cute. I dig it. Huxley is busy dissecting a corpse. Presumably it was a human once. Hi, Dr. Huxley. Hello, dear Charlotte. About the little talk we had earlier. Can you do me a favor of looking after my lovely nephew for a few days? I've been so busy working on the cure for eye plague that I can't keep an eye on him at all. For all I know, he could be collecting rare specimens in broad daylight right now. He's too passionate for his own good. Aren't you too passionate for your own good yourself? The main reason why I'm worried about him, however, is that he has no sense of direction, you see? He may have a bad attitudes, but don't let that get to you. Okay, I'll help. Felix, come here. Uh, huh. I don't need anyone to look after me, Uncle Huxley. Right, right. Now go play with your new big sister. Uncle has science to do. There he goes again. It's nice to meet you, Felix. I'm Charlotte. Hi. If... If you want to make it through the day, don't you dare invade my personal space. Wow, I can almost feel his glare burning into my skin. This is gonna be a long day. Sweet. Kill time. Oh, party member, let's go. Okay, talk to Ted and three things. Okay. I appreciate the tasks. Do yourself heart massage, everything you want to know about string theory, but fear to ask. Help Sheen, bad scientist, and I've mistaken his wife for a hat. Ooh, finally, some books I've read. Hiring paper, embrace your inner Pika. Hmm. The Almanac of Official History. What to do if your daughter brings home uranium. A classic. Soap Bible. A lot of people at cons can need this. Bam! So your son is an alien. How to raise your IQ by watching soap operas. I'm not sure about the usefulness of the second book. If IQ stands for imbe <laughs> imbe 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 that word, the title is rather accurate. The Complete Guide to Conquering the Universe. 425th Fail Proof Edition. Imbecility Quotient. There, I redeemed myself. You're welcome. Soap is not prosciutto. Definitely not meat of the gods. You right, boy. Cannibal man set free. Huh. Human encyclopedia is a complete edition. <laughs> Clinical surgery for dummies. A thousand human diseases to die from. Are human diseases deadly to you? Actually, no. We can develop symptoms similar to a cold, though. Like what I have right now. <coughs> I can open these. Access grant. Oh! Then. What's this squishy? A specimen for research and an organ supply. Look, but do not touch. I, uh. I think, yeah! Oh, buddy is right. I think I'm gonna leave this one. Move aside. The, sc the door scans the boy's eye. Access granted. Okay, this one isn't fucked up. I'm down. The door and die, survive, and get a prize. Whoa, is this for real? Uh, let me save first. Want to check? Door one. Nothing happens. Door two. You know what? It's reasonable. No weird cutscene though. All these deaths are kinda like like 
the potential to fuck me up is there, but it doesn't happen. Also, it's door three. I'm mad. It's random. Is it random? Well, yeah, it's a good moral for sure. Okay, it was random. This is fucking hard. Okay, I'm gonna try two again. If two kills me, then just, I'm gonna read up on something. Okay! I'm so mad. And that is a good joke. I'm not gonna lie. That's a good joke. Oh, I'm so mad though. No, I'm not doing that again. Tell fucking all those fake gamers that I got the applause. Hello. Wonder Rider 3 leads to death. Spooky. But well, I hope you enjoy the Monty Hall room. Oh, Monty Hall room. I get it. It's based on a paradox. It's last my birthday. On the, the day of my tenth birthday, the doorbell rang in the middle of the night. A masked man wearing a top hat and a black suit was standing behind the door. Hello, little Charlie," said with the smile of a man who offers children candies. "Mother told me not to talk to strangers," I answered in a determined voice. Touch the monster? Uh, I tried to. Nothing happened. I'll try after this. He let a sigh. I'm no stranger to you. Human memory is so eph ephemeral, isn't it? A lot of big words in this game. Even if I do not, even if I do know you, you must be a bad guy. I insisted. Me bad? Why so? I had to come up with something. That's because all villains wear top hats. Oh, is that so? What a silly prejudice! The man commented with a small laugh. Don't let this appearance fool you. With those words, he took off the mask. As I thought, the man was none other than the Umbrella Man himself. Although I'd love to have a chat with you on a, your significant day of the year, I came for another reason. I tilted my head, curious. Listen closely, little one. I came to inform you that a puppeteer has been assigned to you since you've reached the age of ten. Who's that? They are representative of True Realm, designed specifically to watch over your troublesome sp species. The one assigned to you is a Seth-type puppeteer. This means like nothing to me. As their purpose, they are here to guide you, the puppets, throughout your short lives. Why would they do that? See, little one, free will is fiction. Mm hmm, I chewed my words trying to come up with a smart reply. Ah, this choice of words must have been too difficult for a child. Let me put it another way. Meet your new friend who will watch over you, their name is Seth. Don't bully them too much, okay? Okay, that was long. Let me do that thing Jason requested. Oof. <coughs> yep, can't touch it. Cool. Okay. Hopefully I don't have to read that much, but let's do this. Wait. Oh, okay. So this is where Bennett's crew works? Pretty much. This dog usually blows up in there, so it's restricted to access. Hello, Florence, what's up? We've discovered adding dark materials to the dough improves the taste of a chocolate cake by 15%. Don't tell anyone. Okie dokie. I don't really want to talk to all these people, but I'll do it. It's Franklin. Needs to be Baldwin. That one. Goodwin. Archibald wearing his lab suit. Lecter. Blanche, Block, whatever. Found Tongue Terror. Um. Um, put it back? Right, should have known. This one's a fake anyway. Right, should have known. No, both are bad. Cool. <clears throat> Shh, they're watching. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've always considered a possibility of being watched. It's pretty possible if we take this into account of all the conspiracy theories. Ah! Damn it. Okay. Interesting. Peter nowhere when I was a child, whether I was in kindergarten or the library, with mom or alone in my room, he was always there watching me with his yellow eyes from the darkest corner of the world, not uttering a single word. I tried to tell mother about him, he lifted a finger in his book. He lifted a finger in his lips, I don't know why I said book, as if not wanting to speak, so I didn't. In my book of truth, he call I called him the Observer. As soon as I had to find him, the man spoke for the first time. Cool. She looks like Gardenia, real talk. Did anyone else see it? Oh, that's not a bad name, I'm gonna say, he remarked. However, wouldn't anyone who observes over you be an observer? I 
have to agree. I'll call you the Umbrella Man. Slightly taken back, the man coughed. Mm -hmm. Although I would have preferred a more euphoric name, let us stay this way. Since then, I gave new, I gave every new person I met in the house a distinctive name. Cool. Are all these people serial killer names? I don't know serial killer stuff, thank you. Ask all your other friends. A slight burn toward them. Umbrella Man 2. When Mom asked who I was talking to, I didn't tell her about the Umbrella Man. Instead, I told a lie. Okay. That's because it's very busy. What's what I have to do? This is a cool talk to friends. I think I've done all of that, but whatever. They maybe they mean outside here too. Still busy, Mr. Raiden? Hello, Charlotte and Felix. Since you're here, we like trying some clothes? What a pain. Charlotte covers Felix's mouth with her hand. Of course we do. Okay, we don't actually try clothes on. Gotcha. Boo. Maybe your alien could open the box. Ooh, good question. Let me save. Never trust boxes with hearts on them. It's probably not gonna work the more I think about this. I didn't think so either, but yeah. Yeah, never know. Guy watching TV, so I'll go to him. Bennett looks sad. Hi, Bennett. Are you dead or something? After 1037 episodes and 10 specials, they finally confess their undying love to each other. Underneath my protection suit, I'm dying from complicated feelings. Let's leave until he's ready to return to harsh reality, shall we? Sorry, my life right there. Yeah, lessons learned for sure. Well, Big Sis is going to sleep. How about you? I do not require sleep. I'll grab a bottle of soap and measure your brain waves while you sleep, stupid human. Sounds like a plan. I suppose I don't have to accompany you to the bathroom? No way in hell. Go to sleep already. Good night. Oh, sweet. Okay. What up? To sleep to go out. Sweet, left, left, cause Good night, Seth. Am I Seth, by the way? It's a cool name, I'm down with it, I'm just curious. Something slimy crawls into the room. Uh, hide. Harley hides under the sheets. Meow. Oh, hey, my cat. You scared my puppy here a little. One day my cat turned to a maggot. Or was he a maggot all along that turned to a cat? Meow. The mag, the mag cat. States as it makes itself comfortable in my bed. Oh my god, what is happening right now? Good, good cat. Cheryl pets the mad cat and purrs. Cheryl falls asleep peacefully. One, I agree, Robin. Two, that sound sucked. What was that sound? Felix promised to come back, too. Did he get lost in the house? How about we look around? A, a flamethrower would be more effective, don't you think? I don't remember Felix's name, so... <clears throat> I thought my... I thought my world broke for a second, confession alert. Felix is not here. Let me just read the note in case it changed. It did not change. Felix is not here. I'll talk to the dude. <coughs> Snoring to sleep. One second. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, spooky. Tupper last is missing. Go in? Not yet. Okay, he, he convinced me. Fius couldn't have gone here, could he? 
Ah, it's a horror game. I forgot. What is this place? I don't remember our house is having a direct passage for Princess Castle. It's too dark to see anything. Oh, it's it's really dark. I am covered in anxiety right now. Uh. Uh. Too much soap on the brainwaves. Too much weed in the game design. The ultimate guide to skidding and gutting. Homo sapiens cooking with passion. Rain, rain, go away. Little Teddy wants to play. I literally can't see anything right now, by the way. Human taxidermy. Going wild, hunting human rights, and contested means of nature. Flower Glad 101. I literally cannot see anything right now. Can I leave this room? So, yellow teddy bear? Nothing scary at all. Now that's creepy. Oh, fuck. Bad that little teddy wants to play. Well. Okay, that one was spookier, I confess. I should have saved long ago. I can't see in the darkness. I haven't saved in five ever. My bad. Sorry for the bad sound once again. Yep, there it is. Such a worry. Okay, sorry about that. I'll save now. Ugh, okay. Once more with feeling. Yep, still hate this. I can't see me at all. Until the lights turn on, I can't see anything. I have to move my screen a little. I don't even know how I turned it on last time, confession. Maybe this is the knock over there? You'll find what you need upstairs. Okay. Where the, where the heck is upstairs? Screen so dark, cannot see! Upstairs? Uh, I can kind of see this. Training is pouring, the old bear is growling. So I'll we'll probably do the other one. These toys are kind of cute. I wonder why there are bear toys everywhere. Okay. Man, not a fan. Okay. Is this upstairs? I have to assume. Okay. Time to use my small brain power. Okay, so I gotta hit the switch. Then I go to the room to the left? Okay, it's 
switch over here somewhere. here, but apparently not. I am confused. It's probably gonna kill me when I go down. Nope, there it is. I'm confused. <laughs> Let me think about this a little bit. So, did it move when it's paused? I think so? No, it doesn't move when the thing is dark. It only moves when I flip the switch. That much I know. Um, I can't really see in the dark. Maybe there's like a third room I don't know about. It's the only thing I can really think of. Um... After that, slightly harder. Maybe there's like a key or something? So I'll give it a try. This is hard. Me. Okay, so I think I, I think there's only two rooms, right? There's gotta be only two rooms. I'm gonna give this a shot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh... Okay, let's try this again. Once more with Felix. Ugh. Sorry I have to keep hearing and seeing this. Oh, was not prepared. Okay, I think I just go to the room to the left, right? There's gotta be a reason why he speeds up so fast. But like, is there something here I can't see? I may have to turn like brightness up or something? I don't see what I'm supposed to be clicking right now. Oh, hey. Uh, that's new. I'm gonna save right here, just to see. You never know. Do I leave? Hmm? Uh, I can't see it all. Sure? This game is so dark! Like, like not like edgy dark, but like, color dark. Oh my god, this is going to be a pain to edit. Hopefully it looks better on the editing screen. Some vegetable. I can't actually see anything. Think it's intentional? Uh. Okay, well, let me just ask is it super dark to you guys too? Because it's like you're probably right. Because <coughs> real talk, I only found those ropes because I clicked randomly. What the heck? Door is closed. Are these different rooms I'm entering? This game is weird. One sec, give me a moment for flavor. Ah! Ah! Okay. I feel like there's something in this room, I just can't see it. I'm scared of being jump scared or something.
got a backdoor key. Oh, it's probably the key to that place. Well, let's save just in case. Uh... Well, hello. The little girl's eyes wall up with tears inside of Charlotte. Um, I'm very sorry. Can I help you somehow? Are you lost? Aren't you lost yourself, big sister? That hurt. Oh, hello, <laughs> lovers in dangerous space. Oh my god. I should, uh, get rid of that at some point. Oops. Leave. Freya doesn't talk to strangers. Okay. Rude. What is that music? Oh my god. Uh... What is this music? Oh my gosh! Oh. Uh, anyways. Click stuff. It's locked. Oh. I'm worried. <laughs> Me too, buddy. Me too. <coughs> Lovely honey inside. Ah. Uh... Lodging the rabbit toys. Take a one. Oh, that's cute. Tame the rabbit toy. So I guess I am Seth in this scenario. Oh, maybe she likes the toy. The rabbit's eyes light up. Sorry, I had to wait for the music to stop screwing with me. The, ra the girl's eyes light up at the sight of the rabbit toy. Want me to give it to you? I can have it? Sure, here you go. Thank you. Your eyes look like white eggs. I'll take that as a compliment, I guess. <clears throat> I'm looking for a little boy. He must have lost his way in this place, too. Have you seen him by chance? Nope, no one's here but Freya. I see, he must be very lonely. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm, Freya's fine on her own. Get lost already if you're not going to stay. <clears throat> Hear an unlocking sound. I assume it's that door to the right. I can barely see. Um, okay. This is weird. Uh, cat room. Don't look in the mirror. That's not good. Take a break. Bear room. Hope there aren't any actual bears out there. Okay. Uh. 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 Where am I? What the heck? Am I out of the room? What? <coughs> Sorry about that. This is confusing. How did I get here? Okay. I, I assume it's a game glitch. I assume? I'm gonna get some water while we're doing this. Yeah, I know, right? Bam. Um... I don't like that sound. Don't drink from the right cup? Ooh. Is this like one of those one tells truths, one tells lies? I think that's the scenario that happens. Don't drink from the left cup. Don't drink from the right cup. Uh. Feel dizzy. Cats do not tell lies. Enter the right fireplace. Uh. I 
can't even see either fall. Oh, like, I think this is a fireplace. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the left ones. I don't trust these sides. Fires and bracing. Do I die? Oh, thank the heavens. Ring up, tank. You know what? I am curious, admittedly. I'm going to enter the other fire. Apologies in advance. Yeah, both great suggestions. Oh, I'm gonna hate this. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty bad. Drink more cops? Yeah, also a good suggestion. There's a lot of ways to die in this game, dang. Uh, I don't think- oh, okay. Okay, I can't, I can't drink any more cops, I'm sorry, buddy. I probably should have drank from the other cup first, it's probably poison or something. Uh, let's go to the bear room. There was stuff here, I think. Okay, okay. Part of my plan. Even though I can barely see. Like, flowers are her favorite. Mm. Let me think for a second. Uh. Uh. Anything. Get her alive. Uh. They have the 25th edition of the sci fi almanac. Can we take it, please? Just can't you carry it on my physical body in another realm? All you do is order me around. Right. Okay. Ah! Uh! Okay, this do I do something? Oh, it's the same bad dick. Boo! Boo! Come on, Gabe. I think I think I used the actual book. So boring. Okay, I think I used the book like a key or something. Oh. The bear keeps going, yeah, yeah. I can't believe that worked. I cannot believe that worked. Also, I like this light. Thank you very much. Is the entire game light now, too? Oh my god, it is! I was just joking, jeez! Take a break. Run away with us to the summer, let's go upstate. I'll go stay with my father. Uh, let's go to this room, I guess. Mirror room. Uh, let me try the other room first. Oh, what? Come on, we had a good thing going. I I really like full light. Once upon a time, there were. <coughs> Sorry. Once upon a time, there was three. There were lived three bears: a small, a little small wee bear, a mid-sized bear, and a great huge bear. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Eat the porridge. I don't think I will eat the porridge. Well, the default clock noise. We didn't use it as a Please let's leave this horrible place as soon as we find feelings. I agree. 100% agree. Charlotte gets it. Oh, okay. I was like, is the sound still happening? Each had a 
bowl of porridge, a chair, and a bed, and they were honest, good-natured, trusting bears. One day a girl came to their house. She could not have been a good, honest little girl. For first she peeped in the keyhole, and seeing nobody in the house, she took the latch. Sit on the chair? Probably and shouldn't. Okay. I'm good. <clears throat> I know about the, I know how the three bear story ended. Bear killed the intruder. No, she left through the window. But we're not in a fairy tale. Uh, why does the base drop? Why does the base always drop? We're not in a fairy tale. Sleep on the bed. In a good girl, she would have waited for the bears to fight in the house, for they were good bears, but she was rude, bad, bad little girl. Fair. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna sleep on the bed. Now let's look for an exit. They said she escapes through the window. Okay, where's the window? Oh, okay. Hey, what up? Oh, okay, that was pretty easy. Yeah, let's look at this one next. Mirror room. Mirror room go. Uh. Oh! Oh! That's why we had no light. I didn't even read that. Oops. Oops. Cool, okay. Gone with the kill. Mirror shows the hidden. Okay, that was easy. Sweet. Um. Did they get here? Or is there? Hmm. Um, good, agreed, hella agreed even. Um, there you are little burglar, aka me, probably should not have left the room. Choose the room you will await, your punishment will end. Lion room, torture room, oxygen room. Um... They all seem pretty bad, I confess. Lion room? That's been a long time. Okay. It's not the lion room. Torture room? I can't help you, buddy. They can't get any worse, right? So, by torture room, they didn't mean that I'd be tortured there. Why well, doesn't look any different from others, though? Huh, okay. <coughs> wow, okay. I'm having problems with the program. Does that mean I can do what I want? No, I simply can't access the rewind menu. Well, that's too bad. I saw that eye. I saw that eye. Oh, whatever that face is. Okay. Okay. Thank you, game. Hello, Undertale. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I literally can't access it. Good for me. Logic error. Okay. Felix? You. Um, hug him? I found you. Don't worry, Fixus is here to help. I can't breathe. 
Stop this irrational display of affection this instant. Small, small talk aside, how'd you get here? Uh, I got lost in your house. There's no way I'm buying that. <coughs> Anyways, we need a plan. I'm not going to sit around and wait until the bears use us for craft taxidermy. Bears? What are you talking about? Were you captured by them too? Excuse me? I just got here and I have no clue what you're talking about. Anyhow, you really needn't follow, follow me. Do you have any weapons on you at all? Only bucks. Stop it against violence. I am? Please excuse me while I slam my head against my forehead. Good thing we met up before you could get into more trouble. Fine, fine, I get it. Sorry for being a burden. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Still, are you, what are you really doing here? Well, there's a high probability of an oracle who has taken physical form appearing in this dimension. Such an occurrence happens once in several millenniums. An oracle? What's that? For you, they are equal to gods. In short, they are entities capable of creating small universes. I won't go into details just now. It is not like your puny brain would comprehend it at all. They sound like fun. Okay, we have a party member. Doesn't really matter because we die in one hit. What's this? Security drone, presumably. This one seems broken. Aw. <clears throat> uh, better not. Alright, I gotta do that first. Let's manually save. Okay, can't do it. I gotta play safe. Try, let's look around. Okay. Ooh. Now I can do that thing I want. Knock, knock. Opening the door. Opening the box is meaningless. <laughs> what the heck is this game? What? Well, I'm glad the viewers are happy. Oh my god. <laughs> I will admit, it's popping. You know, I'm gonna save. Deserved. Did he just kill me? Did that box change the song? I'm gonna see if they kill me. They don't kill me, okay. Joke? You can't shoot us all. No, but I can shoot you. <laughs> That's a pretty good joke, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the laughter afterwards is a uh, bit much. I agree. Okay. Gasp. Made all the drones deadly. And black hole. What is this game? Azor Ribbon. Well, I better save that one. All right. I think they can actually kill him, kill, kill me. Okay, that was a little weird. <laughs> yeah, they're they're pretty weird. Slightly random. You know, I got the ribbon. I think I'm okay. Why is this game full of lies? Ooh. All of ignorance? Sure. Once upon a time, there lived a tiny god. The tiny god created a tiny universe with tiny people. The tiny people created more tiny people than tiny things. This is basically the plot to Rick and Morty. Engaged in tiny wars and became tiny piles of dust. Happy end. 
Question number one. Two plus one. Three. It's my boy Neo! What's good, brother Hood? <coughs> they are always watching. Nice. Nice. Am I looping? I think I'm looping. Wave emoticon back. Okay, this is looping. Oh no, am I stuck? Oh no. Oh, okay, we're good, I think. Don't read it. Read. Why do I always do this? Uh, I should say more often, too. You know what? Okay. Sound duct tape. You know what? That sounds good. Happy for me. Robin, if only you knew all the things I've done. Gas, drones that are deadly. Found soap. Found Azar Ribbon. Found Azar Ribbon. Found Doodles. I should have saved. I found so much good stuff. I found so much good stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna save real fast. Okay, so this one was the this one was okay, I think. Yeah. Yup. Yup. I'm gonna save real fast. Bam. This was nothing. Oh, it's Azar Ribbon. Doodles. Okay, you know, easy, easy game. Baby game. I don't know what these Azar Ribbons do, by the way. Oh, cool. That was fun. That was, that was cute. How's the Azure if it's still gray? Oh, it's, it's gone now. Okay. Nope. I gotta stop using my cool resources. <clears throat> the answer is definitely three. It's a two plus one. I don't know how I missed that comment before. Oh, I hate these drones. Oh, okay. I'm lost. Question four. E5. I need to know what E is. Wait, no, E is a number. It's like 2.13 or something. That's just unfair. Too easy. The answer is zero. Is it? Ah, the more you know, if so. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not again. Question three. What's less than six but more than four? There's a lot of answers to that if you count decimals. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's gonna be a, that's a lot of that gonna be happening in the chat. So apologies in advance. It could be five, it could be like four point two or whatever. At least the music's good right now, I'm not gonna lie. If this song was not a banger like this, I'd be pretty bummed right now. Mainly because I'm lost. I'm gonna blow my nose. There's an infinite amount of numbers left. Yeah, you're not wrong, Neo. That's what I'm saying. Great. Okay, I'm back. Oh, oops. Wrong buttons. They're always watching. I think I've gotten that one before. Yuck. One second, real fast. Oh wait, hold on. Wasn't there like a room with a password? Oh 
Oh, hold on. Yeah, there's four things. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I've been ignoring these for no reason. So, we know this one is... Oh, yeah, not this one. Question one's three, so the first digit I assume is three. I should have paid more attention to these, dig. <laughs> yes, three, no, four, this one is zero, apparently. The other one was, question three was five. Did we find question two ever? Yeah, that's five. I mean, technically with this much information, I can just YOLO guess. So, uh, I might just do that. Let me just look for one more second. <laughs> that was heavy. Tell me, cubes. Oh, fuck, I'm lost. Okay, fuck it. You know what? We're, we're YOLO guessing. We're professional streamers right now. Hell yeah. You know what? Watch this. Three... Okay, so I don't think it's going to be three. I don't think it's a repeat number. So I think it's three, a new number, five, zero. So let's go with one. See? Easy, ga easy game. Well, I didn't expect so many boxes. Dang, it hurts being a professional. That's a lot of boxes. Found more doodles. Hell. Aw, this cute. Good save. <laughs> Thank you. Good saves are what I'm known for. Oh, yeah. I should do it. Uh... <clears throat> well, let's go open all of them. Found a joke. I am not schizophrenic, just multifaceted. I hate this game. Why did we- why was this voted upon? Dramatic snow <laughs> I hate this game! Why did we pick this game? The ribbon. <laughs> Thank you, the community. Okay. I also, this game's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Doodles? <clears throat> I feel like I'm paranoid by saving this much, but we'll see. Gasp. Wait, all drones are like, okay. Glad I was paranoid that one time. They're lifting, all right. Too heavy for us to lift. A doorknob. Okay. Duct tape. Okay, I should probably still be concerned about the drone thing. Do they kill me now? Yep. They okay. So I did that intentionally because I'm a pro gamer, as you guys may know. Don't do that one. I got it. Got that. Hit him by accident. Take this. Nothing in the box, of course. Got the dudes. Got the doorknob. We ignore that box. We save. And it's like nothing ever happened. Easy game. And doorknob here? Yeah. Open the door. Uh, puzzle. Close 
Okay. <sighs> Is this loss? What? I'm gonna look at this one more time. Closed eye. Okay, so this, I think there's a total of eight because there's those four eyes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so. Okay, okay, okay. I think I get it. 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 One, two, three. So it goes. Duh, 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 duh. And it goes. Okay, 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 okay. I think I got it, I think I got it, I think I got it. Okay, so it goes three, one, two, two, one, three, one, two. Three, one, two, two, one, three, one, two, I think? Based on that thing that I saw before. Three, three, one, two. You know, Jason, I'm gonna just hope that you use the things I just said right there. Jason, you motherfucker! <laughs> okay, let me just try again. Okay, it's three, one, two, two. One, three, one, two, I think? Wait, that's what you wrote. One second. Oops. Three, three, one, two. One, three, one, two. Am I wrong? Let me look at this puzzle again. I'm pretty sure it's three one two two. Three one two two. It goes do do. Okay, it goes in some weird shape. <clears throat> three one two two. One three one two. Wait, did I write it wrong? I probably just wrote it wrong. Yeah, I wrote it wrong. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Oops. Um? Um? This head gone. This can't be. Can't we do something? It's... It's no use. No matter what you do, you'll end up dying here, one way or another. Who are you? The four-eyed person lets out a laugh. Stop making that face, it doesn't suit you. I'm a librarian, you see. Nobody comes to read anymore. I thought I died for a second too. Safe scum back I it says he dies regardless. Um I don't know what else we could do, Jason! I'm going ahead! <clears throat> anyway, there's no use dying over dead meat. How could you? I'm not to look after him yet. <clears throat> there, there, not all is lost. Aside from this person's head, I guess. Damn. Wait, wait, don't hit me, like, for that. What do you suggest I do, then? Like, killing the duck? <laughs> hey, that was one time! Why does everyone kill me over this duck? Switch the channel. That's all. How would that help me? Let's see for yourself. Perhaps we'll get lucky enough to change history. Why should I trust you? I'm not telling you to do something unthinkable, am I? Besides, I am quite knowledgeable about how this place works. I, sorry I am enjoying myself too much. It's the first time I've talked to a natural person in years. The door is open. Aren't you in a hurry? Right. Goodbye, then. Bye-bye. You hear if you meet the executioners on your way. They won't be nice like me. Okay, talk. Oh, nope. Sure, the birds rise. Oh, okay. 
Well, that was a lot to take in, I confess. No charging back. Oh, uh, yeah. Save here. Do I go ahead or? Kind of missed the cool music. Can I get it back? Are they all empty now? QQ? <laughs> Oof! <laughs> oh, okay. Is this for so Oh! <laughs> I don't know about that. I feel like I got robbed right there. It's so funny. Shut, shut up, guys. Get out of here. <laughs> Boo! I'm bad. Am I supposed to not go back to that world, by the way? I think I am. Uh, she gives me the old dot 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 thing, and it's weird. <clears throat> Boxes are the same. But there's no cool sound effect box. Can they really be the same? I didn't enter this room last time, too, by the way. By the Rent Castle Letters. <coughs> Excuse me. Can I enter this room? Oh, we know where the doorknob is, so... Okay. Are all the boxes empty now? I Music's mean, pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, Hall of Knowledge? That's different. Oh, hey! What? Tell me, for once upon a time in a far, far away place, the land filled with ink lived an ink princess. Every morning she put on a pitch black ink dress and combed her black hair. After spending thousands of years, one second, let me blow my nose. After spending thousands of years dwelling in the vast ocean filled with nothing but ink, the princess decided to enter solitude. Thus, the ink princess set on the journey. Oh, it just moved for me. You. Is it really you? What kind of question is that? Of course it's me. I just got here. Is that so? Hey, why are you crying? Um. Hug. Hey, stop that. Sure, let's go. I'm glad you're safe and sound. Felix sighed. That's so. No, you do not have to follow me. I pinched Felix's cheek. My duty to look after you, dummy. Don't underestimate me and my amazing caretaker skills. I thought you were going to scold me for running off. You came here for a reason, right? I won't scold you. Just stay safe. Okay, I guess. You're acting weird. You're imagining things. Take my hand so we won't get separated, okay? <laughs> Absolutely unnecessary. No objections allowed, as Seth likes to say. Sorry I blew my nose in the middle of that talk. 3650, that makes sense. Sure. The princess passed through the fields, admiring how fruitful they were. The trout got soaked in ink. The princess swam in the sea, admiring how vast and clear it was, but all of the fish died from pollution. Please leave these lands. Can't you see everything is dying? The peasants begged the princess. The ink princess was so deaf to their prayers as her heart had been soaked in ink a long, long time ago. No matter where the ink princess went, she was always unwelcome. Tag. Saving time. Well, not yet, actually. Ooh. It's you! Things were earlier, it really did work, the switching the channel thing. May I ask, do I know you? You don't remember me? At least the first time we've met. I'm really sorry, I'm mistaken you for someone I knew. There's no surprise, we all must look the same to you. I'm very sorry. No need to apologize. Is there a book you need to find? Perhaps I can be of assistance to my fellow Bulu files. Not me, though. 
I hate reading. I do my best to keep everything in order in here, you know? Read on a book, is there a safe exit? <clears throat> all exits here are safe. It's a library, after all. Um, is that so? I don't believe you. So it would be zero, right? Well, you're actually capable of calculus. Who would have thought? Dang! Down with the books, up with air! Oxygen, boys! Uh, I think you're right, Jason. Let's try that 3650 thing. Of course, I've had to solve puzzles in order to open the door. Ridiculous. Oh, I think I know the answer. Cool. Okay, uh, I think it was this box. It's not floating, so that makes sense. Oh. Huh? Alright, oh, lift it. Her. Okay, it's open door, yeah. Oh, it's in reverse! Or, kind of reverse. Yeah, okay. So it goes... Okay. So it's... One... Well, hang on. I think it's one, three, two, whatever. But let me just... Yeah, one, three, two, whatever. I also miss dramatic snow effect. I also missed the, sound, the music before. This one's good, but... The other one was really good. One, three, two, two... Three, one, two, one? One for it. No, don't touch it! Why are you so cautious all of a sudden? I've been here once. I switched the channel and... Switched the channel? What does that even mean? I don't think I quite understand myself. After doing that, I came back to the exact same place, but some things have changed. Like what? Like, you're still alive. Did I die right here? Your head got cut off. Oh. Then what should we do? I'll go first. Seth so can rewind if I die before my expiration date. Because I can't afford losing you again. That's just stupid. It's the only way out. Oh, uh, thank you, Jason, because I totally forgot with all the dialogue. A nice day? Oh. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Well, let's go save. You know what? I keep thinking the save point is outsiders all big. This eye on the right side, by the way, is pretty creepy. Is this not? No, it doesn't work. Oops. I didn't even... Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you, Satan. Uh, hate this. Not a f yeah, we've done it now. Hello, space. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> you know, it's good. To it's a good show. Ten out of ten. The biggest fears are meat and pomegranates. That's reasonable. Meat is red, violets are blue. How does that tell lies of bad memory? Why is this yellow? Would it be so kind to bring me the contents of the black box? Blue box. Yellow box. Green box. Blue box. Blue box. I like the blue. Okay, I guess I gotta go out to that one place. Weird, okay. Ugh. Do these things just kill me if they touch? I don't wanna stay here. I'm not gonna try to find out. I should stop letting you guys pick my games. I feel like you always pick the weirdest one possible. Oh, I don't want to go to this one! Oof. <laughs> Me too. Ugh. 
Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's also reasonable. I don't know what's happening right now. <clears throat> I know that I am, uh, sick. And, uh, sickened, if you know what I mean. Why are they moving? Couldn't tell you. Why can't I kill some and not kill others? That's the real question. <coughs> okay, then. Well. You know what? Let's leave. Good jokes all around. You're right. Stick a needle in the eye? No, we're cool. Uh, man, I hate this. I hate this with all my heart. I think I have to go back to that other place. Uh, I guess I'll talk to the flower things again. I think these kill me. Like, instant touch kill me. Temptation is high, but living is higher. Uh, blue box. Cool. <clears throat> I don't know what these things are. Still here. I'm confused. Okay, so it's maybe not here? Question mark? <coughs> uh, whatever. Let's keep going. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, herp? How did I not realize there was something here? Oh! Alright, so okay, the, something about boxes. Which one? <coughs> well, I don't know, I'll just take the red one. It looks like me. Ah! Uh, what? What?! What? Balls are protractors. Uh, I guess I'll say. One of them wanted a red one, that's all I remember. Black box, black box. Wait, didn't you want different stuff? Yeah. What? Yeah, y'all are... What? Okay. Thank you, here you can have my old-fashioned brooch. Don't need it anymore. Attach the brooch to my ribbon. I miss a pink light. We use the pen attached to it. Okay, thank you, I think. Me and Arby's going back. I am not going back! I know what y'all want for Iggy, I'll go back. I love my fans. Too much. So, yeah, you're right. That's what I always say during Werewolf. Well, I don't think they're going to appear and kill me this time, so. Oh. I guess that makes sense. <clears throat> that was a mistake. Haha, <laughs> snaps fingers. Oh, I should have saved in the red thing. They have a pen. What do I do? Oh, I can stab the eye! Yeah! Game design. There's a needle now. 
Press hard and hope to die, stick a needle in the eye. Oof. Oof. Knock, knock. Who's there? I hate this. Hate this too. <laughs> don't unsub. I don't even have a sub. Kind of one. I mean, that one was easier. Don't get me wrong. Uh. Shot. Then. Uh. Caution, where is the third eye? What is happening right now? Well, whatever, I guess. Who needs puzzles? Close with your friend unit, one piece. What? You have to go to the other one to save. I don't trust any of those right now. Ah! Uh... <laughs> Why? Why are we playing this game? Why couldn't? Why can't we play other games? <laughs> There's like an Inuyasha fighting game if you want to play that. <laughs> I don't know, man. Seems like the passion opens with something heavy standing on the block. So you're saying that one of us has to stay here, but then the other will search for another way out. That's right. Uh hmm. get something? We can look for another way out. I don't think there is one, though. Uh This is hard decisions. I guess Charlotte stays? Here, maybe you'll find a way. You're not going alone, of course. The puppy will go along with you. <clears throat> Hush, just believe in me, okay? I'll be fine. I do, but you're my friend, so I believe in you. <laughs> That you'll come back and rescue me when I need you the most. <sighs> You're the best. I'll get fired. Sad emoji. <laughs> Who are you talking to? My puppeteer, of course. You don't think I'd quite follow. Don't worry, it's a friend. Alright, I'll be back soon. I'll be waiting. I don't know if I made the right choice. This is probably a mistake. Amazing Grace. Ah. <coughs> Why is there just an eye here? There has to be something here, right? Nope, nope, nope. It's just there to fuck with me. That was close. Oh god. I zoned out for like a second. Hmm. What's on the end of the wall? I don't think there's anything here. I know, riveting commentary right now. Ooh, save boy. Uh, I don't like it, but... No, let's go to 14. You never know. Uh Tic Tac Toe game. 
Oh, herp. I'm stupid. Herp. Tic tac toe. Huh, Nani? Does this go straight line? Oh, I just did that by accident. I'll be real. Uh, I think I am? I'm just not paying attention to it. I'll be real. Okay, so I can walk to the middle. That's no issue. Ben's playing Doom, by the way. I should disable these. One second window. Sweet. We'll see if that did anything. Probably not. Uh, hurt. Okay. So yeah, I think we're O. So I have to go boo boo and then left? Yeah! Thanks, guys. Let's check on Charlie. All right. What? Hello there. Isn't it dangerous for a little girl to wander around all alone? I'm waiting for my friends to come back to my side. Is that so? Well, it's a pity they won't make it back before you meet your death in ten minutes. That'd be bad. Sounds like a fire if I die without him by my side. Is that all there is to it? I don't want to cause anyone trouble. Well, well, aren't you a nice child? But Felix, will he be okay? I'm afraid he'll die shortly after. There's no way to save your friend, however. Man whispers something to Charlotte. Is that okay? Got it. Even though you disagree with my methods, it's the only way to save him, right? I'm too weak to do anything alone. <clears throat> the man passed Charlotte's head. Don't blame yourself for a single thing, child. Well then. Huh. Dab. Huh. Huh. Why am I playing this game? <laughs> I am so lost. I am so lost. White door? Can I just come from here actually? Yeah. Oh. I'm also stupid. My bad. I forgot. I totally forgot. Uh, which door could it be? Is this some you may Nikki bullshit? Uh, this looks familiar. Lewis Hanger, guide me back, please. Ah, the human body is such a fragile thing. I can't just pause if I accidentally break it, can I? Well then, what do we have here? Uh, all this junk is no good. So there's not bad. Not the best option, either. It's a shame I'll get this pretty dress dirty. Hi, do you want do you want to play hide and seek with me and my friends? Uh, what's happening right now? You see, I'm really bored. That's right, let's play a game. Boredom's the worst, isn't it? 
Open your eyes, here comes the scissors. This person, what was I? I just, I just had to switch the channel to make everything all right, right? Hey, what the hell? Don't make me a murderer. What the fuck just happened? What is happening? Uh, nope, it was not that. I had to go one more down. I knew that too. Uh, it was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Ben's still playing Doom. Good for him. But what's the point of me going that way again? Oh, that was anticlimactic. Like, what was the point of me coming to this room? Oh well. I probably don't have to go this way. Okay, wasn't this? right there. Memory serves. Yep. Shelby isn't here. Uh... Uh... Charlotte? Felix, Seth, here you are. Good thing you're safe and sound. Are you hurt anywhere? You want the world to be stuck in the incinerator. Ah, the blood isn't mine. While you're away, I figured I'd stuff the blood chunks we saw earlier in here. That's so. Yeah, sorry for worrying you. Geez, I was worried about you, but here you are covered in blood, and more obnoxiously cheerful than ever. Well, sorry about that. Wait, you were worried about me? That's something new. I guess it sound like I'm a jerk. Well, thank you for trusting me, Seth. You're truly a friend. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Then you're the best puppeteer ever. Eyeball goofballs are my fave. Oh, I'm glad they're better than steak to you. Snaps it out. Let's go, everyone. I made his voice weird that moment, Charlotte. Hey, are you alright? You are spacing out. It's nothing. Liar. Fine, you have to tell me what happened. Here, take my hand. She's shaking. That's going. Right. Well, let's give us the old save uni.
Felix, yeah? Can you tell me more about what you were looking for? I know I'm not as smart as you, but I'll try to understand. Well, all I know is that the person here are called Phythos, who were created by an oracle, whom they call their god, at least used to. That's are extremely powerful. They can alter reality to their will, which most likely results in different dimensions being created. From what I've gathered, every species perceives them differently. Otherwise, they wouldn't look so, uh, so human? Right, to you. Last time I visited, there were much more, much, much more of them, yet we barely met anyone on our way. Please a mess. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Perhaps something bad happened. No! <laughs> Contamination warning, organic tissue ahead. Ah! Great, a dead Phytha. Poor thing. Phythia? Whatever. Another dead body. They look the same. They probably all look the same to them as well, you know. Ah! So many of them. It's not moving. Slaughterhouse 1, Slaughterhouse 2. Slaughterhouse 3. Flying corpse. Maybe she's just sleeping. Slaughterhouse 6. Slaughterhouse 5. Big boy. Slaughterhouse 4. Man, suck it. They all have the same faces. And that's it. Okay, let's end this one, I guess. Glad I entered that one. What? Nani? Why is the fourth number one looking? Nine? Oh, this is a puzzle, isn't it? Okay. Second looks like a nine. First, fourth looks like a one. <clears throat> Door codes? Probably. And the first looks like a four. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. One four, four one, two nine. Damn, she's fine. Uh. Oh, okay. Uh. One, four, two nine. Nope. Uh, it was one four, four one two nine. Uh. I think? Second. Two nine. One four. Okay, well, I'll just keep looking. It's probably not that. This music is pretty chill, I'm not a lot. Oh, third. Three, eight? This one's your only corpses. <laughs> what? She's us, we are her? What? Enjoy the vacation with style. Bone saw! Hello. It's always here when you need it the most. It comes with two blades. Cool. Well, it'll come in handy. <coughs> well, you have a point. I have the worst marks in class. 
At least we'll find out if your neighbor spills. By God, she should we'll see what happens. That does make sense to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. What was this? 3-8? Oh, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So third, the number is 8. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, well. Oh, that was scary. We avoid that. Uh, do people want to see what happens if you die in that room, actually? Let me know. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Rob, you know what? Yeah, fuck all so fuck my viewers, you know what? Fuck the stream. Four. <laughs> uh what? Oh right. Okay, I think Jason wants to see what happens if I die in that room. So I'm gonna do it for you, buddy pal. Here I go. Oops. Oh, that's it? Oh, that'd get cool art or something. <laughs> Let me delay, jeez. Let me re-chat. Uh, I, I thought there'd be cool art, though. Okay, it was 1, 4, 3, 8. Dodge it, you won't. You know what? I loves me a challenge. 4981. I don't think this is possible, actually. Nope. It's definitely not possible. I can only go forward. Boo. Why do I listen to the stream? 4981. Thank you. Actually, significantly helpful, so I really appreciate it. Well, if I pay attention, four, nine, eight, one. Hello, what? Get one today for free. Executioner mask puts the cute and execute. Absolute must have for all ladies and gentlemen. Oh look, rather menacing. Asking for <laughs> You hear that, Robin? You hear that? <laughs> Anyways, <ooh. clears throat> well, I'm gonna blow my nose real fast before we enter this door. JK, I love y'all. Y'all great. Y'all here with me, playing these cool spooky games. Amputation saw made of highest quality steel. Who said girl's best friend was diamonds? Ain't that the truth? <laughs> I'm dead. Riding corpse. There's a stack of notes on the table. Eight three seven five two nine. The pain to note. Okay, it's just right there. I can read that anytime. Ooh, the art changed too. That's cool. Thank you. What other room do I need a password for, though? This is probably near the front. thought that would be correct. Uh, I should go back to that room. Got the numbers. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. 
Uh, may have to talk to these people each or something. Nope. Can't talk to them. <clears throat> I have to go to another place. Chat. It was A three seven five two nine. Cool. Nice. I'm gonna exit for a second to save. Mama taught me to save early and often. Everyone is born to execute. Christmas morning will have will be happier with a shotgun. An all family venture. God hunt. Buy our air-powered guns for an unforgettable fun experience. Weissman gun. Barrels of fun. You can't sleep, don't count sheep. Count on your chainsaw. Oh, whoa, okay. So that's how they portray oracles here. She's beautiful. Just for your information, oracles do not have any physical form nor a gender. What I'd like to hear is no more than a young Scythian princess. Priestess. Well, I don't know why I said princess. Fight for equality. Here's something from behind the door. I hope it's not an executioner. Right now we are the executioners, remember? Okay. She's still alive. Well, well, hello, dear executioners. You're so tiny, yet you're the ones who can't have come to end the life for a last child. How ironic. Come forth and swing your blade. Don't make us wait any longer. Uh, I'm very sorry, but we won't harm you in any way. You won't? How come? Well, for starters, we're not the ones of your kind. The girl sense where we can't see my face. It's two eyes. You are merely a traveler. Huh? Am I missing something? Shh. I'm speaking to a real oracle. The creator of all that exists in this universe. This body is just a dying vessel. It's an honor to meet you. You seem to be a good child. We believe we've known your parent once. You should leave these lands, for we do not have much time left. What about this girl? She can no longer be saved, but we, we wish to be with our children till the very end. We should leave Charlotte. Right. When will we meet again? A seeking you shall find. Uh. I think I have to exit through that main door, but... I'm gonna go to the left side too, just before we leave. I think I have to leave through that door. Become an executioner today! Time up for the god hunt by calling us. Feeling oppressed or life is a wreck? You did nothing! Get your revenge by joining the god hunt today! <coughs> We're topical. Okay. What now? Some might have a feeling we, it'd be the last channel we visit. Might. Well, it might not be far from the truth. <coughs> well then, let's go. I feel like I have to apologize. For what? Many things. Running around, putting you in danger, making you come here. I found what I was looking for, yet I feel no satisfaction at all. I don't have the slightest idea of what happened in this place. I still don't. So Uncle recognized my achievement after wrote a paper on the oracles, a, a phenomenal an entity. Yet this oracle and their universe reek of death. I was 20 billion years too late. You must think how meaningless this journey was. Feel free to laugh at me. Uh, let's give him a hug. It's okay, stop blaming yourself. Isn't everything in our life pretty much meaningless? Dang. <clears throat> We're so tiny, aren't we? Like worms or maggots, or even mag cats even. Yet we consider ourselves important and do everything to benefit ourselves. Isn't that what's laughable? Besides, I like going on adventure with you. For me, it's like being with a friend. 
What's with that pseudo intellectual monologue? Don't try to make don't try to seem smarter than you are, you and Maggot. Aren't we already friends? If you say so. What are we waiting for? Let's go in. Ah. Uh... <clears throat> Pause applause. Welcome, welcome, dear guests. We are waiting for you. Now we finally have a talk. Well, then, did you enjoy the show? Was it not to your liking? The show? Well, of course, all the worlds you visited. There used to be an infinite number of channels, you know. Now, they've turned into mere recordings of their past glory. If I may ask, what happened to this world? Many, many things. A long time ago, we used to be called a god, although we never were one. Our own children raised men against us. We used to be a thousand hands, yet they've cut all of them off, and now we are powerless. We used to observe the world with a billion of eyes, yet they gouged out every single one, now we are blind. We used to walk in depths and bounds throughout the world we created, yet we no longer take a single stop, as our legs were merely taken away. The creations we dearly loved, regardless of their deeds, destroyed themselves, and now we are alone. Yet we forgave them for their sin. And we forgive the enemy. So the universe we've created is not. Nothing exists anymore. All we do is indulge in the memory of the past, no matter how disordered they are. Soon we will fall apart, and so will this land and those walking on it. That would be troubling. We absolutely have to turn home by tomorrow morning. Well, there is a way, human child. Do you wish to try? What do I have to do? Pull your hand to the screen, would you? Are you sure about this? But there's no other way we can leave. Can you hear the oracle? You would have not have listened to me either way, would you? Even though I don't want to cause trouble for anyone in the end, I'm quite a troublesome person, aren't I? Put my hand on the screen. Oracle, no. The god of this world put their pawn to match mine on the other side of the screen. I only vaguely remember what happened next. I set the god into my heart, and we walked home hand in hand. Shout out to Christianity. Shout out to Jesus. <laughs> everything that I was became her, and everything that she was became a part of me. Together we said goodnight to the dying world. All the life, the planets, the stars, the black holes, even the atoms have ceased to exist. One by one, the channels switched off. The Christian Station! I know you're here for these Christian tunes. Oracle used my body as a vessel and used up all the remaining power she had to bring us home. Thanks to that, we were able to make it back safely. While we were away, not a second passed in our world. That was quite a story, my dear. I personally met an Oracle, even a dying one. A great lucky friend, too. Well, we would have known. Do you always have to wear this creepy mask when you see me? I know you're using Father's body as a container to talk to me anyway. Easy with the tongue, dear. I thought it might be inconsiderate of me to have a chat with you while using someone you know as a vessel, but if you insist. The Umbrella Man takes off his mask. Better now? Yep, much better. Your eyes have such a pretty color. Say, Umbrella Man. Do you know what? Do you happen to know the person I met in the TV world? Why are you so sure there was anyone there at all? Well, that's because... I committed an imaginable sin, yet I only vaguely remember it, as if I watched from the other side. <clears throat> your naivety never ceases to amaze me. Of course, we had to edit your source code shortly after you came back. Can I tell the truth, can I? You're talking as if we're in a video game. Most of the worlds are code-based, my dear. As you say. But why would you do that? Those memories were unnecessary. Remember, we do not want you to fail your education program. It's already messed up enough with an oracle becoming a part of you. I'm sure Mr. Seth will be greatly upset if you two go around causing havoc when he isn't looking. We both know I'm not like that, sir. <laughs> By the way, I am rather surprised that you were able to contain a godlike entity without all of your life-supporting systems collapsing. Probably she was too weakened to do that much damage to my body. Hmm. What has become of them now? He's still sleeping. I wish we could talk more. Even after seeing her memory, I still don't know much about her. The Oracles, what exactly are they really? One would compare them to stars, reaching the end of their lives. They gradually lose all of their powers and become 
inf infinitile white dwarves. Think of yourself what a god capable of creating new life from zero care of such insignificant beings like you. Are you talking to me right now? Ha, huh, good one. Well, isn't that great that you've met a new friend? Now take your pills and go to sleep. When want you to nod off in your lessons, although they only postpone your unemployment status. Dang. Thanks for finding an hour to spend with me. Good night, Mr. Umbrella Man. Good night, little Charlotte. See you, pills. Okay, let me blow this nose of mine. Sorry about that. Off to sleep then. Sleep well. Alright, if I take the pills first, okay. Ooh, I can save now. Anywhere I want. Okay. Cool. What? Nani? Sure, we don't. Don't you. It looks like a normal place now! Uh Excuse me, wonder what sleep, Seth. Okay, well, you the boss, boss. You there. Yeah. Hi, my cat. I'll see space fish in my dreams. Is that me, the Oracle? Cool. Good night, Charlotte. I hug my toy rabbit. Good night, Felix. Good night, Umbrella Man and Oracle. Good night, Guardian Angel who watches over me. Good pills. Episode 1 Junk Food Gods and Teddy Bears End. Thank you for playing. I hope you enjoyed playing this game as much as I enjoyed making it. See you next time in Episode 2. You know what? I had a good time as well. I am actually surprised we beat episode one in one stream. I thought it would take two for some reason. Well, I think that's a good cutoff point. If you want to play for yourselves, Hello Charlotte is free on the old Steam site. We will be coming back next week with episode two. Um, I have no idea how long that is. But uh, hopefully it was... It'll be as cr crazy as this episode one was, which I confess was pretty crazy. But yep, uh, I'm gonna head out. It's actually good for me because the old sneezing and coughing, the episode 1.5. If I can find it, hey. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I'll be back on next Wednesday, 7:30 p.m. Join me in the old stream, Rooney, if you can. Enjoy Hello Charlotte a lot. I will see you guys next time. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Have a goodie, y'all. Awkward pause. Awkward pause. Three, two, one, wham!